All right, seventh graders, here we are back again. Uh, today we're going to talk just a little bit about photosynthesis. Now, I know I've been discussing this for kind of the last two weeks. I've kind of touched on it, but I haven't really given you guys a whole lot on it other than to explain a little bit about what it is. Well, guys, it's quite simple. Photosynthesis is the process that plants use to make food. And it's a very complicated process, at least the way it looks. But I think what you guys are going to find is as we start to work through this and as you guys start trying to balance this out, things are going to kind of end up being fairly, fairly similar here. Okay. But basically what it comes down to is this, in order for a plant to make its own food, it needs three ingredients to do that. So it's got to have carbon dioxide, which is CO2, water, H2O, and then some sort of sunlight or sun energy or, or light energy to make this happen. Okay, when we take all those things and we mix them together within the chloroplast of a plant, it is going to produce a substance called glucose, which is a type of sugar, and that's the food the plant eats. And it's also going to create oxygen. And that oxygen is really good for us because that's what we end up breathing. So guys, the, the whole point about photosynthesis is it's very cyclical in nature. Okay, you guys are giving off carbon dioxide, there's water vapor in the atmosphere, there's light energy. When we mix all of those things together, it creates the glucose and the oxygen. And this whole thing starts over again. Okay, now if we were to flip this around, and we'll talk a little bit about respiration next week. But basically, guys, respiration is almost a flipping of these two things, okay, or, or the reactants in the process. It's almost. There is a slight difference. We'll talk about it next week. But guys, what I want us to focus on for today is I want to focus on photosynthesis. What I need you to do is I need you guys to try to balance this equation. Now, some of you guys are going to probably go, I can't do this. Try it. That's all I'm asking you to do. Just try it. Because what I will end up doing is I will post a video, uh, probably I'll maybe shoot for like Sunday evening of the actual equation so that you guys can check how it is. Okay. So guys, your task for today, for today, for me is to try to balance the photosynthesis equation. I'll give you one hint. You're going to need to use numbers bigger than two. Sorry, can't give you much else. All right, we'll catch you guys later.